Hello, hello, all you beautiful faces. So before we get into the beautiful Beautylish box, let's talk, let's hear the scripture of the day. And today we come at you with a word from James um, chapter 4, verse 4. And it says, well, actually 3 and 4. It says, you ask and do not receive because you ask amiss that you may spend it on pleasures, adulterers and adulteresses. Do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Whoever therefore wants to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. You know, I, I find that many people in this day and age have tons of excuses for how they live their life. And they think that they can say, because I think of it this way, that God is going to go, oh, well, that's okay. Well, if you see it that way, then I should bend to the way you see it. But that isn't the case, you guys. We have to get to know God by his word, and then we have to bend to his way of doing things. He does not bend to ours. We do not we are not going to have the luxury of standing before the Lord and saying, but this is how I saw it, Lord, because we are to rightly divide the word of truth. This is the truth. And when you look up the scripture that you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free, this is not about being honest. It is about knowing the Bible. The Bible is the truth. And when you look up truth, in the Hebrew or the Greek, whichever it is in, it means the highest form of reality that exists in this universe. That means there is no higher form of reality. So today, think about the areas and all of us. I am not saying this from a standpoint of perfection, but think about the areas where you think where you could possibly be trying to get God to see it your way because we don't get to do that. And then just make that adjustment. It's that simple because he loves you. But let's get into our little surprise for the day. So I have already opened this and as you know, Beautylish, oh my gosh, has the absolute all time best packaging in the world. There is nobody that packs like Beautylish. You open it up, it is absolutely excellent. I do not need to tell you how amazing they are in that area. But I did, they send me a little sample, which I didn't expect, which I appreciate. This is R and Company Waterfall Moisture Shine Lotion. I don't know why my camera is not, there it goes, maybe, there we go, there we go. This is a very full sample. I am excited to try that. I did get this case for um, medications that I have to take. And since I am dealing with memory issues, I, ha I wanted to have something I could put the exact dosage in for that day. So I do not forget that I've taken it and take double dosage or anything and then end up having that be detrimental. But this is not what they said. They said this was four inches, four and a quarter inches by four and a quarter inches. And it's not, it's a rectangle. So I'm, and this is only like three inches here, which I'm not happy about. And they said it was an inch and a half tall and this is barely three quarters of an inch. So I needed the specific size and this was $14 for this little thing. And I'm, I'm, it may go end up going back because um, of misrepresentation and I needed the size that they said so we'll see but let's all get to the good stuff so I'm 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 bummed that I did not do this eye look I did not think about it I had already set a palette in mind to use today and um, but I do already have swatches done on my hand and this is the Kevin Aquan nude pop palette it is very reminiscent of the um, ABH um, Norvina palette, but I do think this is a bit prettier. And I have to say, 
Um, I did only the colors that I knew would show up because these these um, these nude colors here I knew would not this row would not show up on my skin. But the swatches, especially the mattes, are amazing. The only one that I feel did not swatch very well is this one right here, and that is. Um, right here on my arm. I can see it. It is just okay. And then I did have to build this one up right here, this color right there. But it built up very nicely. So I am super excited to try this. It is going to go right into my, I have a little basket right here of my palettes to use each week so I'm doing kind of a shop your stash type of thing. I will start doing videos when I I've been dealing with depression, so I'm not really into like full swing of doing that. So when I do, I will do it and I will be showing you we're going to do some shop my stash in reverse type videos. And eventually we will get to the actual shop my stash where if you guys are interested, you can shop my stash. I have to get through this. If you're interested in knowing what my eye look, this is the Maybelline Soda Pop palette, which I used today. My eye is already running. As you can see right there, the makeup is coming right off my eye. That is from the matte. I use this color as my crease. I use this color as my eyelid. I used this color as my transition. And I used this color right here under my brow. And let me tell you, it's super pigmented and it went on. I had to wet the purple for my lid to get it to show up. But um, it is the matte that is making my eye water. And only, usually only um, shimmers do that. So I've had to keep this brush out and keep packing it in to where the little, where it's coming off. And it's really um, a pain in the butt. But ultimately, I am going to have to take my makeup off because it's not getting any better. And it's causing my eye to look lopsided because of having to keep packing the color on over here. So I'm going to give this one more shot. If I have the same problem, I'm either going to return it or I'm going to give it to somebody because it just will not work on my eyes. And it's a bummer because it's working great on Savannah and I it was buy one, get one half off. And I don't know how they'll do that, but if I return it, but We'll see. Other than that, it was super duper pigmented and it went on very easy, but I am having some kind of reaction to it. So that's a bummer, but that is my little haul for the day. I hope that you guys have an amazing harvest and an amazing November. And I pray that God blesses and keeps you safe in this crazy, crazy world we live in. Bye.